check it out. This is our campsite for today. Welcome back to episode three. This is location two of our Iceland series. It looks pretty barren around here, but Miro is telling everyone that this is going to be the most amazing flight of our lives. This area looks kind of like the moon, and last night when we rolled up, it was super windy. We were potentially gonna fly last night, but couldn't. Weather looked better for this morning, potentially gonna fly, didn't too windy. Now this afternoon, it's actually shaping up to feel really calm. So the idea is we're gonna take off with nine or 10 of us and fly out to one, two, or three different locations. One is a canyon that has like a bunch of waterfalls draining into it. Two is colorful mountains. And three is this line of like hundreds of craters. So that's the goal. As long as the winds stay calm like this, we're gonna have it made. Right now we're just kind of hanging out. We've been hanging out all day because it's been super windy, but it's finally getting to flight time. So I'm stoked. Let's see how this adventure goes. Okay guys, so um, this is the floor that I was the most looking forward for the whole trip. I think this will be the most epic flight on the whole trip, which is sad news because it will be hard to beat on the remaining days. So the plan is, uh, there's, a, there's so much to explore in this area. No one has ever flown here. We are the first ones to fly. And uh, so for the, the plan for today's flight is to fly pretty much the straight line. It's about, 40, over 40 kilometers, kind of that way, uh, uh, to the area called Lucky. It's an area of 135 craters in a perfect straight line stretched over 20 kilometers. So this line of craters, some of them really small, some of them really big, some of them have lakes inside, will lead us all the way to the glacier. And from there on, we will kind of turn back. We will see how much fuel we have, how fast we fly, headwind. And then we decide whether, I mean, which part we go to explore a bit closer. So on the way there, we won't stop. We'll just fly straight 40 kilometers, uh, kilometers to, to the Lucky. And on the way back, there will be more time to explore. Uh, we have plenty of time, we have 20, plenty of fuel. 20 22 up to 24 liters each so it will be a long time well that's it uh do we have radios yeah. communication yeah. or steve <laughs> <laughs> oh steve anyway uh i'll tell him don't worry uh well that's it all right let's give her a go Very nice. We'll swing her around town. Fly right over the campsite. Looks like my buddy Canyon is about to launch on the big red pig. Radness. Everything is going according to plan. As you heard Miro say in the brief, we're going to find the crater field. It's I think about 30 miles away. So a pretty good run. And fly around there, and then on the way back, if we see some cool stuff and we've got fuel and we're making good time, then we'll stop and see other stuff on the way back. All right, we're starting off with a little detour, which is the canyon with abundant waterfalls. And the blue ass water. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see how down and dirty we can get in here. Looks like there's some guys down low. There's a little bit of drizzle going on. Maybe it's collecting on the GoPro lens. Dang. 
It's just flowing out of the freaking rocks. That's dope. It's a little bit bumpy down here. Check that out. The water's literally just pouring out of the rock. Oh, there's ducks of some sort down there. Wow. Keeping an eye out for wires. Oh, that's sick. Alright, it sounds like all of the pilots have made it into the air now. Uh, two of them are just catching up to us. So, glad we got that little canyon run in. Now we're headed out to freaking crater land. said on the radio a little while ago that we were 45 minutes away from our destination so right now we're probably about 30 minutes away not too bad plenty of safe landing areas down there if something were to happen and just be a major recovery mission have to flag down one of those vans we see at the gas stations here with big ass tires get them to roll out here and pick us up all right onward and upward We'll get there soon enough. simple landing in those canyons we were in, you'd break your legs and it would suck. This stuff looks nice, so it's a lot more comforting, a lot less stressful. Check it out. We're getting into uh, crater territory. This is miniature crater land. There's some tiny little ones, like freaking 10 foot diameter going on here. Let's see if we can get a little slalom action between them all. There's these like mounds. Some of them are crater-like. 
Like that, right there. Take a peek down there. What the heck? Very, very interesting landscape. Some are bossed over. That's super cool. It's freaking like grassy and bossy out here. Check it out. So here's the line of craters. Freaking one there, one there, a little sharp one over there. And then they keep going all the way left. There's one that's got a bit of like redness in it. You can see there's a ton of rain out there. And we're keeping an eye on that. But it doesn't cover this up, but this is our destination. It's gnarly out here. Such a weird landscape. There are actually roads out here. You can see off to my right, there's one that goes through the green. Then there's another one over there. Canyon cutting down the edge. Get it? Ooh, that rain is looking thick. We do not want to get caught in that. <laughs> Vero's on the radio, he just said, oh my god, the rain is brutal on the right. Wow, that crater's insane. Feels like I'm getting mad lift right here. Getting sucked up. Don't want that. We might just have to retreat here pretty soon. That rain is getting real close. Look at that. Freaking dope. Weather in Iceland is so weird. Since the sun is out like 90% of the day, it's very like mild. There's not like big thunderstorms obviously, but there's definitely, it's been overcast like since we got here. And uh, these little sporadic rain showers are everywhere. Getting a little bit of rain here. And a little bit of turbulence. Jesus, Dave just had a little collapsey action there. Freaking turquoise water down there. That's super rad. I feel like it got chilly back in this region. Keep going down to the left a little bit. The major rain's back to my right. Now it looks like there's a little bit more rain up here. This stuff is super cool though. The next one ahead looks like straight up just gravel. Oh yeah, it's looking misty ahead. I think we're gonna get in some showers pretty soon. straight ahead. I'm going to turn around right here. Some <laughs> crazy formations of rain over there. It's like streaky patterns. Yeah, I'm getting felted in the face now. Let's see if we get out of this. I should be able to fly back out of it soon. Yep. 
we're clear now. Let's see if I can shine up that GoPro lens a little. Yeah, they all just radioed that they all hit the same wall of rain back there. So I don't think we can go much farther in that direction. Check this guy out. It's like a freaking arrowhead. I'm sure there's many Instagram pictures taken from that little overlook. That's freaking awesome. I'm right into the wind here. Yeah, the guys just radioed that we cannot go any farther because they're all hitting a wall of rain. So I think we might just be turning back right around here. Yeah. Look at all those freaking paramotors out there. It's crazy to see so many shiny, colorful wings in this landscape. Let's see. Our fuel situation still pretty good on fuel. I've got maybe three or four liters in my tank. I've got 10 liters on my lap. So I'll probably start transferring that in soon, but it looks like we are heading home. Everyone's flocking back together. So uh, let's hope we make it home without any major uh, incidents or rain showers. have landed so far. Looks like I'm fourth in line. I don't think we're missing anyone, so that's good. Look, a pack of three sheep. Yeah, the flight back was good. Uh, pretty cold and a little bit of rain, but you know, we freaking did it. Still got gas left, so that's cool. Looks like Canyon's going for a little rodeo over there. What is that all about? Yeah, but those craters were pretty freaking cool. It was an excellent flight into the uh, nothingness and beautifulness of Iceland. Oh, time to freaking wrap her up. The windsock blew over. Yeah, it is a little lumpy bumpy down here on approach. Ground speed so low. Nicely done, Boyd. What a guy. Here we are, we just relocated camp a couple miles down the street. Um, this is gonna be a flying site for tomorrow. The, uh, the flight today was awesome. We did about 80 miles, 
two and a half hours or something. It was epic. Beautiful landscapes. Crazy how it changed throughout the whole flight. And the craters at the end were super cool. So yeah, we're probably gonna have dinner here and uh, camp out tonight and then tomorrow do a flight to a different place. Something about rainbow colored mountains. That's the goal. So uh, I'm gonna sign off here. We're gonna enjoy the rest of our night here as it's actually getting to be nighttime. It's almost 10. So I'm gonna do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Drop a like if you did. Shout out to Scout for the adventure and uh, check out the new merch down in the description too. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned. Peace.